Configuration files, sound fonts, blade profiles, color profiles. What are they and how do they interact? Let's find out. All the things I just mentioned are safely stored on the SD card of your CFX. If you want to customize your CFX, you're going to have to understand what these files uh, on the SD card mean and how they interact and how to edit them safely without breaking anything. But first you need access to the SD card. Uh, you can do this on several ways. You can use the uh, USB port on the CFX and place it into USB access mode, or you can take the SD card out and use an adapter like this to connect it and to place it directly into your computer. Uh, either way is fine. Uh, I like to use the adapter because it will save the battery life of your, uh, of your lightsaber. Um, but either way, it should work. Let's try. Right, so with the SD card connected to the computer, we can now take a look at the files and we can see that there's a very specific structure. So when you open it, you will see uh, the top Part. These will be all the uh, sound fonts, as you see over here. Uh, the sound fonts contain all your uh, sound files and a very limited set of parameters uh, which allow you to configure the sound font. Next, you will have the uh, config.txt. Uh, the config contains some generic parameters. Uh, these apply to the entire Sabre and it will also contain the blade profiles. So if you open the config.txt, you will see this. You will see at the top a very uh, generic part. This, uh, these are the parameters that will uh, modify your entire saber. This is like the volume um, and some other settings. And if you go a bit uh, to the bottom, then you will see it will start at profile is zero. This is your first blade profile. This is your second blade profile and this is your third blade profile. You can have up to 32 blade profiles in the config file. Next, you will have the uh, colors file. These uh, will determine the colors of the blade effects. Um, if we open this, you will see the color profiles. Also, uh, you can have up to 32 color profiles and the uh, numbering starts at zero. So the max is color is 31. Also, we have the prefs file and the special file, but let's just ignore them for right now. Important for now is to know that the CFX holds color profiles, which determine the color of the blade effects. You have the sound fonts, uh, which is a collection of the sound files with some very limited uh, configuration options. Uh, there's no maximum, there's only uh, limited by the size of your SD card, so you can have as many sound fonts if you want. And then you have the blade profiles, and these determine the blade effects. And there's a maximum of 32 blade profiles on the CFX. Something that I hear very often is, I changed one sound font, but now they're all red. So. What's good to know is that the sound font itself actually doesn't contain any, pa any parameters for the colors. It doesn't contain any parameters for the blade effects. So you cannot change a sound font and then change the color. What's very important is to know the structure of the sound fonts, the blade profiles and the color profiles, which is shown in the next diagram. Um, as you can see over here, the CFX contains a list of color profiles and a list of blade profiles. And each sound font is linked to a single color profile and a single blade profile. But as you can see, since the color profiles and blade profiles are limited to 32 and the sound fonts are not, you're going to have a, a overlap. So one uh, color profile can be used by several sound fonts. As you see over here, color profile one is used by Crystal Focus sound font, the Hof sound font, the Camino sound font, and uh, number 16, the Jedi sound font. So if I change this sound font from, of this uh, color profile from red to blue, then I know that all of the linked sound fonts 
will show the color blue if I select them on the CFX. The same goes for the blade profiles. You can, you can change them if I select the sound font crystal focus and then start editing the uh, lightsaber. Then I'm actually editing this blade profile. So if I change this blade profile, then the crystal focus sound font, the nebula sound font and the half sound font will be affected. So to wrap things up, the CFX holds lists of blade profiles, of color profiles and sound fonts. A color profile can be used by several sound fonts. A blade profile can be used by several sound fonts. If you edit one of those blade profiles or color profiles that is being used by several sound fonts, then all these sound fonts will be affected. This is very important before, uh, to know before you start customizing your lightsaber. Um, in the next video, I'm trying to explain uh, why the Crystal FX for desktop is, is such a useful tool uh, because it shows this uh, hierarchy of sound fonts and play profiles and color profiles and how they're being used. Um, and I will try to explain how you can customize your blade profile. So stay tuned to the next video and enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye.